All right, fellas, if you've been bristling at the thought of shaving this month, good news, we're in the midst of Movember and it's time to let your follicles breathe. Let's welcome Simon Cantlin, organizer of the annual favorite Rockabilla Q. And you do not have follicle challenges whatsoever. You look <laughs> no, great. Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> so we were just joking. So this all started November 1st. Yeah, and of here course, we are. of course. It, yeah, yeah. I didn't have a like beard that, before right? that, yeah. <laughs> so tell us about Movember. What is Movember for people? So Rockabilla Q this year is benefiting Movember, and Movember is an international organization. The month of November is primarily their fundraising, but they fundraise throughout the year. Uh, they, Movember is in support of men's health and uh, grand research support health for um, cancer, mental health, things like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the idea behind it originally is that men would shave their beard and mustache on November 1st and then do sort of a fundraising campaign mm -hmm. to raise money as they grow their mustache. And now it's actually they, they embrace beards as well for yes. that. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, any kind of facial hair you want to do. There's a lot of beards happening. So yes, yeah, beard. exactly. Yeah. Or if you just want to, if you already have one, you can still fundraise. Or if you just want to donate, like yeah. there's a, they make it real easy. Yeah, but it's a great organization. Uh, they've been around for a while now. Yeah. And they, you know, obviously they're trying to raise awareness on, you know, men's health issues. Well, I think that's great that you're supporting it. And of course, just so people realize, November and mustache together spell Movember. Yep. So that's that's where we get the name. But a lot of people do participate. And men's health is something that we we talk a lot about, but men find it so hard to make that trip to the doctor. So yep. this encourages them to make sure that they go get the regular checkups and, and to check for all those things that uh, personally affect men. Um, but not only that, of course, we've got Rockabilly Q happening this weekend, and it is one of an annual favorite fun time that just transports you back to mid-century yep. Americana. And so you got everything there this year. Yeah, it's action-packed. I mean, we have it's free for one thing. That's the most important part. Love it. Uh, it starts on Friday with a kickoff party at Common House. That Saturday is the main event. We have classic cars, vintage bikes. We have contests, pinup, beard and mustache, of course, tattoo. Mm -hmm. We have a huge vendor market. We have over 95 vendors wow. this year. People swing dancing, people eating and drinking. All the local businesses will take part in it. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's 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 fun for all ages. There's something for everybody. And we also, of course, have live music. Uh, on I think five different outdoor stages and we bring in bands from all over. We oh, have bands fun. coming from Canada, bands coming from California, bands from up north, oh, and then oh, a lot of really local. Sound. Uh, it's like Roots Rock. Rockabilly is basically uh, what rock and roll was called in the 50s. Mm -hmm. So it's Roots Rock, Americana, kind of old school country western honky tonk. We, we make it very diverse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the music's all exceptional. I'm very particular about the bands I book, but we have a lot of great regional local talent as well. And we're going to be seeing yeah. one of those bands yeah. here on this stage in just a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. Lots of petticoats, lots of pomade. <laughs> yeah. All going to be there, Rockabilly Q, yep. Park Circle. But you also have an event happening at the Gelliard Center's Spiegel Tent, yes. which they have every December. So what are you guys doing there? It's the Rockin' Holiday Spectacular. It's December 1st. It's the first time we've ever done it with them. And if people aren't familiar, it's this beautiful, like, uh, vintage style tent with, uh, with stained it's glass. Really, it's and, really neat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really, it's like a, what you would have seen back in the day if you went to like a big, like, you know, kind of like, I don't, I guess circus meets burlesque kind it's of thing. It's yeah. very Euro European Yeah, feeling. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, and we have two amazing bands, one from uh, the High Jivers and Screaming Rebel Angels. They're one's from New York and one's from Nashville. They're Roots Rock, uh, Rhythm and Blues. Amazing uh, bands, strong female lead performers, lead singers on them. Uh, we also were going to have a special uh, pinup conscious as part of it. We're going to have some really cool classic cars parked out front, mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be a really, really uh, fun evening, a special awesome. evening to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the festival. I so. love it. 10 years, you know, 10 years. So now you got to outdo yourself in the next decade. Yeah. So there, there's going to be a lot of work for you ahead of you. <laughs> but really fun event. I love it. People put it on their calendars. They're going to go. Saturday is Rockabilly Q. And mm -hmm. then You've got an event happening on Sunday as well. Yes, we have a, the Atomic Splash Pool Party at yes. the Starlight Motor Inn. So, uh, okay, yep. perfect. And then we've got the Spiegel 10 event happening in December. Yep. Fantastic. Thank you so much Thank for you. sharing. Thank you. I appreciate with us. it. Great to see you. Yep. We're back after this.